I love the new SteelSeries Arctis 1 wireless gaming headset. They fit much better than the Arctis 3 Bluetooth that I've been using for a few months now, and thanks to this USB-C wireless transmitter, you can easily switch between any of your current gen gaming consoles and PC. But since this headset doesn't have Bluetooth 4.2 or Bluetooth 5.0, sometimes I do miss using my Arctis 3. But nonetheless, if you're looking for a $100 wireless gaming headset, I don't think you can go wrong with the Arctis One Wireless. Now before we get started, I just want you to know that I'm mainly an Xbox gamer and I'll play on the Switch from time to time. I currently just don't have a gaming PC because I just don't have the room for it, so this review is going to be coming from a console gamer's perspective. Like I mentioned earlier, the Arctis One Wireless retails for $100, but there's also a non-wireless version of the Arctis One which retails for $50. So if you want to pick this headset up, it'll be linked down below. So the Arctis One Wireless comes included with the 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter audio cable since you still have to use a wired connection if you're an Xbox gamer. There's a long USB-A to micro USB cable used for charging since the Arctis One still charges via a micro USB port. You get your USB-C wireless transmitter which you'll plug into directly into your computer, Nintendo Switch, or even your phone. And you also get a USB-A to USB-C adapter so you can plug the transmitter into your PlayStation 4 or into your computer if it doesn't have a USB-C port. But now let's talk about the headphones themselves. The Arctis 1 look very different from the Arctis 3. The Arctis 1 no longer has a suspension headband like the Arctis 3. The microphone no longer retracts into its ear cup like the Arctis 3. But the Arctis 1 now has a 3.5mm audio jack. So if you want to get a fabric audio cable, you can do that. But the Arctis 1 are still very lightweight like the Arctis 3. They're still using the same plastic body panels as the Arctis 3. And they still have the same super breathable fabric ear pads that keep your ears nice and cool even after long gaming sessions. But the Arctis 1 just fit much better than the Arctis 3. They fit much more naturally around your head than the Arctis 3 do. For me, the Arctis 3 apply a little more pressure on the top portion of my ears than they do on the bottom. It's not uncomfortable, but it is annoying. Whereas the ear cups on the Arctis 1 apply an even amount of pressure around your ears, so you forget you have them on after a while. The ear cups on the Arctis 1 are also a little more roomier than the ear cups on the Arctis 3. So if you're someone with larger ears, then you'll probably really like the Arctis 1. But something that I do want to point out about the Arctis 1 is that when I first unboxed them and put them on for the first time, I did find them to be a little snug, but after flexing their headband a little bit and after gaming with them for a few hours, they broke in and now they fit perfectly fine. So overall, the Arctis 1 are more comfortable than the Arctis 3, even without their suspension headband. And personally, I just prefer the Arctis 1's more low profile design. But now let's talk about performance. From a sound quality standpoint, I didn't notice any major audio differences between the Arctis 1 and Arctis 3. They both get more than loud enough and distortion isn't a problem. But with the Arctis 1, you can go and connect to SteelSeries Engine 3 on your computer and adjust the headset's EQ, dynamic range compression, mic side tone, and mic volume. These settings are then stored directly on the headset, so if you were to go from gaming on your PC to gaming onto your Switch or PlayStation, those settings will still carry over, which is a good thing. But unfortunately, since the Arctis 1 can only be used passively when used with a wired connection, you can't use your preset configuration for EQ and dynamic range compression. So basically, Xbox gamers are out of luck and are just better off getting the Arctis 1 wired version instead. But just being able to have full control over your EQ settings is a major deal over the Arctis 3 if you're gaming on a PlayStation or Switch. Now, when it comes to wireless connectivity, I've had zero issues with this wireless transmitter. All you gotta do is just plug it in, turn on the headset, and then they'll automatically pair. And from a performance standpoint, there isn't any noticeable lag, and I've had zero connection drops with this transmitter. I can even walk around the whole house and get multiple walls in between the transmitter and the headset and not get any connection drops or static. But unfortunately, the Arctis 1 can only wirelessly communicate to anything that's plugged into this transmitter. 
since the Arctis 1 doesn't have Bluetooth 4.1 like the Arctis 3, you can't just connect to your phone via Bluetooth. And personally, this is a big deal to me because one of my favorite features about the Arctis 3 is that whenever I'm in a game lobby, I can just whip out my phone and watch a video without having to take my headset off. And unfortunately, you just can't do this with the Arctis 1. You're gonna have to go back to the one ear out technique. And personally, I think it's a shame the Arctis 1 don't have Bluetooth 4.2 or Bluetooth 5.0 because this headset would also be great as a normal pair of headphones. They're very comfortable to wear and they don't look half bad at all. I mean, technically, you could use them as a normal pair of headphones with your Android device, but you better not lose or break that transmitter. If the Arctis 1 could wirelessly connect to both the transmitter and Bluetooth on your phone, then this headset would be perfect in my book. But finally, there's the microphone on this headset. And just as you'd expect, the microphone on this headset sounds great. But what's really impressive about it is just how well it manages to isolate just your voice. Cause for comparison, right now you're hearing me through my lav mic. Obviously, you can still hear me, but now you can clearly hear this AC unit. So I'm just trying to demonstrate to you just how well the Arctis 1 manages to isolate just your voice and ignore everything else. So overall, I'm a really big fan of the SteelSeries Arctis 1 wireless. It just fits much better than the Arctis 3, they sound great, and I can game with this headset for hours on end. But if you're strictly an Xbox gamer, I highly recommend you just go with the $50 non-wireless version of the Arctis 1. But for everybody else, the wireless version is the way to go. The Arctis 1 wireless plays nice with PC, PlayStation, or Switch, or even your phone. So if you have more than one gaming console, you can easily switch between them and play wirelessly with the Arctis 1. Being able to adjust the EQ, dynamic range compression, and mic side tone settings on this headset and have those presets saved directly on the headset is nice but I just wish this headset could connect to your phone's Bluetooth without requiring the transmitter. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below, and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.